Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Array Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Law Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding find the top 10 ranked songs in 2010, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Spotify interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, what were the top 10 ranked songs in 2010? Output the rank, group name, the song name, but do not show the same song twice. So basically you need to drop duplicates. Sort the result based on year rank in ascending order. Okay. So we are basically given a data frame called billboard top 100 year end, and we are expected an output of pandas data frame, right? Which has basically three columns, year rank, group name, and song name, and there should not be any duplicates. So let's preview this uh, data frame, billboard top 100 year end. So you have information about the year, year rank, group name, artist, song name, and ID. Okay, so basically what we need to do in the year 2010, what were the top 10 ranked songs? Okay, so obviously if you think about it, right? So the first step should be to do a Boolean indexing so that we only keep those rows where year is equal to 2010. So what we can do is, right? So here from this data frame, billboard top 100 year end, right? We need to do a Boolean indexing, right? So for this and for the column year, right? It should be equal to equal to 2010, right? Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now if you see like all the rows will be having year 2010, right? Now, since the name of this data frame is so big, let's store this in a data frame called DF, right? And DF is going to basically be the same data frame, right? Okay. Now what we need to do is we also need to make sure that, you know, we are only considering the top 10 ranked songs, right? So what we can do is again, do a second Boolean indexing that from the table or from this uh, data frame DF and the column year rank, we are only going to keep those rows where year rank is less than or equal to 10, right? So now let me run this. Okay. So now if you look at it, right, so there are duplicates, but you know, the rank is not going to exceed 10. So now we are only, you know, concerned about three different columns, year rank, group name and song name, right? So what we can do is we can provide the list of columns that we want. So we want firstly year rank, then we, then we have group name, right? Group name. And then the third column is song name, right? Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. Okay. So now you only have three columns. Now, the only thing that is remaining to do is, you know, you need to remove the duplicates. So how can we do that? We can just use drop duplicates. So what we can do is we can simply write dot drop duplicates, right? Okay. So now once we have this, then let's run this. So now if you look at it, right, so we have the top 10 in 2010, right? And the columns that we want, but the question is not finished yet. It also says sort the result based on year rank in ascending order. Even though if you look at it, it is already sorted, but to make our query generalized, we need to write, okay, so sort values, right? And then by which column year rank, right? This is what it says. So year rank. So we write year rank. Okay. So now let me run this. Okay. There is no change because it was already sorted, but it is a generalized query. So, okay. So I think this looks good. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it again. Very simple question. Now let's see how we can, you know, do the same thing in MySQL. Okay, so if you look at it, same question, right? We are given a table billboard top 100 year end, expected output is same as well. Here, the name of the column should be rank, not year rank. And there might be some problem with it because rank is also a name of a function, right? So, but yeah, we will see like how we can do that. And then if you preview the table, you basically have the same information as well. So here again, what we need to do is we need to basically keep those rows where year is equal to 2010 and the year rank is basically less than equal to 10, right? So from this uh, data frame or from this table billboard top 100 year, we are only going to keep those rows where year is equal to 2010 and your year rank is less than equal to 10, right? So for them, we need to get the distinct combinations, right? So distinct, we don't want duplicates. So in Python, we did drop duplicates at the end. Here you can return the distinct combinations of the three columns that you want. So you want distinct year rank, but you need to alias this as rank, right? So as rank, 
right then the second is group name right and third is song name right and we also need to order this by year rank in ascending order but before that you know so if you see right so this the color of this rank uh, thing has changed to blue so obviously this is the name of a function right so if i run this it is going to throw me an error right why because you know we are allow we are basically aliasing uh, the name of a column as a function right so we are not allowed to do that so what we need to do is we need to make this a string so we can you know include this in double quotes or single quotes it does not matter and now if i run this it will be you know okay to run okay so now we have this but we are left with one thing to do that we need to order by year rank right okay let me run this now now our code is generalized right uh, our output looks same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to so it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again so very simple question all we had to do was you know do boolean indexing or you know keep only those rows where year is equal to 2010 and year rank is less than or equal to 10 so basically we are only considering those songs in that in particular year 2010 were top 10 then we make sure that we are dropping duplicates or we are only keeping the distinct combinations of year rank group name and song name and for mysql we also saw that you know how we can name the column as a function as well by basically you know converting that into a string so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video